Welcome to Royal House Updates. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry became the butt of the joke on the hit TV show South Park, something which they deserve after their treatment of the royal family. Before we continue, if you're new to a channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Thank you. South Park savaged Meghan and Harry in its latest episode, something which the Duke and Duchess deserved, according to a royal expert. The thinly veiled jab at the Sussexes would likely add to very great concern that their popularity isn't holding up in the US, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams claims. The episode of the hit TV show follows the Prince and Princess of Canada, who immediately draw comparisons to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The cartoon prince has bright red hair and has written a tell-all book titled Wire, while the princess dons a dusky pink outfit, similar to the one Meghan wore at the Trooping of the Colour in 2018. The caricatures go on the worldwide privacy tour holding signs which say, we want our privacy and stop looking at us, an obvious dig at Meghan and Harry who moved to America amid concerns over their privacy. A dig which, Mr Fitzwilliams says, is well deserved. They roasted the royals, if you want to see pretty cruel, and often hilarious, humour, you'll see them on South Park behaving in weird ways. I've just been watching some of it, and it's perfectly obvious, because of their behaviour, they deserve it. However, the Sussexes should have expected such treatment after publicly attacking the royal family, according to Mr Fitzwilliams, who believes constant media appearances appear to have cost Meghan and Harry at least some of their popularity. On the one hand, with all the intimate photographs, texts and all the rest of it they put on Netflix, on the other hand, they keep talking about privacy, 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 yet they attack, said Mr Fitzwilliams. He added. Harry attacked his own family in public, they both did it on Oprah if you do that to the world enough, the world take notice, and the world will think less of you. Citing a popularity poll done in the US last month, Mr Fitzwilliams claimed the Duke and Duchess's actions were catching up to them. If their American support is not holding up that is of very great concern for them, he suggested. Now, with South Park, I don't normally like cruel cartoons, but I'm afraid considering the way they behave they deserved it. The Sussexes have experienced a sharp drop in popularity in the US, following the release Prince Harry's memoir Spare, according to a poll, run for Newsweek by Redfield and Wilton, which surveyed 2,000 eligible US voters. It showed Prince Harry's favourability rating drop 45 points from plus 38 in December to minus 7 in January. Similarly, the Duchess of Sussex dropped 36 points from plus 23 in December to minus 13. Now, it appears they have become the butt of America's joke while being savaged over their media endeavours in their chosen country of residence. South Park, which can be streamed in the UK on Paramount+, Plus, included a scathing reference by main character Stan to the Prince and Princess of Canada. He calls them the dumb prince and his stupid wife. In the episode, the cartoon couple appeared on Good Morning Canada to discuss the prince's book were. The host asks the prince if by writing a book about his cartoon royal family, he has become a journalist himself, a profession he despises. We just want to be normal people all this attention is so hard, the prince replies on TV. When challenged by the host, the couple storms off of the